Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. I feel like we're smashing out the vlogs at the moment and I'm really excited about it because I love filming vlogs for you guys. We have lots of exciting videos coming very soon, I keep saying this, but obviously we've got Fia's birthday. Yeah, you, I'm talking about you. <laughs> this vlog is gonna include when we went to London, when I got my braces, um, and maybe just a few other things, because I have been vlogging over the weeks. We are hoping to go on holiday next week, and why I say hoping is because Sophia's passport is still not back. We sent it off at the end of February, and it's still not back, and Connor's passport is with it, and we tried to contact them today, and they were having, they just weren't helpful at all. They were like, there's nothing we can do. Um, so next week we may or may not be going on holiday, we will not know until a couple of days before. I have got some really exciting things to show you guys and I wanted to start the video with it because I am very, very proud and very excited to say that part of this video is sponsored by Farfetch, which is a dream come true for me. Like, what? Like, it's still crazy that I own these items. We've seen a few months ago, I actually got me and Con some Balenciagas from Farfetch. So I use Farfetch anyway. I've worked with them on Instagram. So I'm delighted to be working with them on a little YouTube collab because that is so fun. And I have some great items to show you guys, like the most unreal pieces. So before we get into this video, this vlog, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Farfetch and I'll insert some pictures because I have been styling up the items. I'm not gonna lie, a few of these items I did have in mind to wear on holiday, on a holiday that I might not be going on now, which is fantastic, but we're not even gonna put that out into the universe. Are we, Sophia? We're not gonna put that into the universe. We're gonna put good vibes out. Anyways, what should we start with? I'm gonna start with the sweatshirt first because this is from the brand Sporty and Rich. I was gonna put this on today, but I'd already done my bun and I was like, I can't be asked to mess up my, if you know, you know, I can't be asked to mess up the bun. But I literally love this, I've been living in this. So it's a rarity to see me in something different. But yeah, I first saw this brand on Molly May. I believe she had a t-shirt and now a lot a lot of the like wellness, sport kind of vibe stuff is dupes of the Sporty and Rich brand. So yeah, I'm really happy to have an actual Sporty and Rich one. Health and wellness, what have we got on there? Tennis, running machine, gymnastics, weightlifting. And then it just says Sporty and Rich at the bottom. I got this in a size medium, just because I always get my sweatshirts really big and normally a size large. But this is still oversized, but I didn't want it to be too oversized. So when I tucked it, say, into jeans, it wasn't too bulgy. But yeah, I really, really love this. Also, before we continue, I have a discount code for you guys. I'm going to put it on the screen. It does exclude some brands, so I'll put all the information on the screen for you guys and in the description box for you guys to check it out. But I'm pretty sure the discount code is either 10% or 15%. Which, when we have brands like this... And brands like this, sorry, I mean that is, you will not get that anywhere else. I think that's incredible. So yeah, we might as well talk about the bags next. This I love so much. They did have a bigger version, but I really like to be able to wear my bags crossbody because when you have two children or children in general, just sitting up a bit so I can put it on. Um, you like to have, it's, e it's better to have hands free. So I didn't want to get the big one because obviously I'd have to carry it. But this is just such a nice size. It's not too big, it's not too small. It fits obviously so much in it, which is so ideal. I think this for me is like the perfect London bag. And I know that sounds really silly, but when I go to like London, I need a bag like this because this will fit my phone, it will fit my lipstick, it will fit my chewing gum, it will fit my camera. Um, so yeah, it also comes with a little zipper inside so i can put my cards in there put my money in there but yeah like i said i have worn this stuff already so you may have seen this on my instagram already i'll insert the picture so you guys can see i also quite like how thin this strap is you can obviously just tuck it in the bag so you don't have to have it cross body i actually took this out for dinner the other night um and i literally just had it like this and I just think, like I said, it's the perfect size. I literally love it so much. I also picked up this hat from Balenciaga because I live in caps. Me and Con both live in caps. And I really wanted this one. It kept going in and out of stock. The same with the Jacquemus bag that I'll show you in a minute. I'm really sorry if I've said that wrong. But I love this. I feel like this is such a classic for the Balenciaga caps. 
and I love the faded washed look but yeah like I said I wear these literally every day especially when I do the nursery drop off I will literally just chuck on a cap in the morning they must think I have like a whole wardrobe of caps because I just wear different ones every single time <laughs> just to switch it up a little bit but um yeah we've made it a little bit more bougie the collection I have personally bought three no four design items I've got two Louis Vuitton bags one that is like I wear it all the time the other one is a hold all bag that we're gonna well I got for holiday <laughs> that might not be going on but um the other two obviously I bought were some trainers Balenciaga trainers they also do obviously do them on Farfetch as well so you can get the discount on them as well but um I feel personally for me the best way to invest in things like that if you are looking to start investing in more sustainable pieces more statement items in your wardrobe that for me I could have only dreamed of starting to build a collection like this like it still baffles me that I'm, I'm on this journey but um anyways I find accessories is a really really good place to go like shoes bags for me personally I probably get more wear out shoes I got some dunks from Farfetch I got some off-white trainers from Farfetch which I literally I love all of those shoes so much and then also maybe like sunglasses hats um, so yeah, I feel like accessories is probably a good way to start. Um, and I feel like they're a bit more timeless if you go for accessories rather than clothing, say. But I also picked up this hat, which again, obviously I got for holiday. And I really, really like this. They did have a cream version, but I was smart because I thought I'm going to be having, I'm going to have sun cream on my face and have makeup on my face. I don't want it getting all ruined on the inside. So I got the black and I got this in the size 58 i believe um does it tell you yeah 58 but this is so beautiful i love the colorway of this i mean if there is a more live bag please tell me currently right now should we do a what's in my bag we have got chewing gum I've got chewing gum in every single bag although i can't even eat it at the moment with my braces my favorite lip gloss lip oil and then my brace case but these are quite small bags like it doesn't fit my phone in but i was saying this the other day to my friend like when i go out or if i'm anywhere i normally have my phone in my hand anyway and it does fit my camera in so again this is a perfect like city break bag and i think this is like a really nice holiday bag too again you don't have to have the strap on it um but i think i just need to be careful with this material because i feel like it could get quite like dirty in the sense maybe my makeup will get on it if i have makeup on my hands so i just need to be a bit careful with this um but yeah i really am obsessed with everything i've picked up these are my favorite pieces in my wardrobe and i feel like when you are investing a little bit more that's what you want to feel you want to feel like they're your favorite things in your wardrobe and i just feel very lucky to be saying that i've I'm working with Farfetch on this part of the video. So thank you so much to Farfetch. I'm going to leave everything linked in the description box for you guys to check out, along with all the exclusions of brands, my discount code, all the good stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some pieces that I picked up. Now we're going to head into the vlog of when we went to London and if there's any other footage that I think could fit in cute with this vlog, I will insert that too. Yeah, let's get into the rest of this video and don't forget to use my discount code because it will save you a lot of money which is great for these kind of things. Good afternoon, guys. It is 20 to one. We, do you know what? I am gonna insert the footage after today of my teeth when we went to London, but I thought I would just add this in as well because I thought it'd be a nice little, I don't know, mini glow up kind of video if I'm gonna go get my teeth done. Today we're heading to the Contour Club, which is where I get my lip filler. Um, so this is my wedding, pre-wedding filler top up. What are you looking at? Your lip. I just lips. thought you don't need it. I don't have a lot in my lips at all now. I think I might just have maximum one mil in there at the moment. And I literally think a little bit more about 0.5 and then I'm gonna get my nose topped up because my bump I don't know what side you're gonna be able to tell or you won't even be able to tell but I just need a little bit of a top up on my nose and then I will have my chin topped up so I get like the smallest amounts in each place I want you to not be able to tell that I've got it done I feel like my most obvious thing on my face is probably my lips but um yeah, even them, I don't even feel like I've got 
not much going on. So yeah, I thought I'd insert that here. Um, I'm wearing the same jumper as what I was wearing a couple of days ago. Actually, I've got the full tracksuit on today. I literally love it. And I've got my Balenciaga bag on. I literally use this for everyday use because it's just the perfect size. But we're just at the boat. We are, oh, are we loading up? By the way, I've got my braces in. So if I sound a bit lispy, lisp, lispy. That's why. Couldn't get a nice latte. I'm really gusty. I don't really fancy hot ones. I just got a drenched juice, chicken, mayo, bacon, salad, sandwich, and then a caramel slice. Get an Instagram. My own, I'm jumping in. How do the intense thousand rocks on night? Her nice tones. So, I'm all topped up cute right my lips look so good they are a little bit swollen but like the technique to make them a little bit like flatter incredible i'm literally obsessed so yeah and also obviously my nose topped up and my chin just tiny little tweak moments i didn't get botox i don't know if i spoke to you guys about that before but yeah she will not let me get something done if i don't need to get it done she said i usually say to my customers if they have clients even if their makeup like sits in lines on their forehead i don't have any lines on my forehead that makeup sit in so yeah it is a bit premature so we are just gonna get an ice cream now because our boat we're a bit early for our boat it's 25 past three our boat's at four um yeah it's suddenly got really hot it's like 18 degrees suddenly and i'm literally boiling because i'm in a tracksuit so we love that for us con's getting a little bit agitated because he's waiting for me so we've got the baby's back. Oh. She's really tired. She's so tired. Alright, should so we go to tired. bed? Go to bed. Go to bed. Give mummy a kiss. Give mummy a kiss. Oh. Good girl. Oh, you go for a oh. You're loving cuddles with mummy right now, aren't you? Missed you. Where's your brother? Where's your brother? The brother's outside, isn't he? There's Noah, just there. Nice. <laughs> you have to give mummy a kiss first. <laughs> oh! What about on mummy's cheeks? <laughs> I love you so much. <gasps> Should we have his head today and then tomorrow we'll have his body, okay? Yeah. Yeah? So yeah, that's going to conclude this vlog. Actually, maybe... Um, Jungle. Molly May's got a new video about her house. I can't watch that yet because no. Do you want to watch the green ones? Pink one. Pink one. Yeah. Pink one back. Oh, pink one back. That one. Yeah. Oh, good. Silly like baby shark dog thing he watches. But yeah, this is the end of the video. Obviously, my face will go down a bit if you're thinking it looks a little bit crazy. I mean, it doesn't actually look that swollen. Can't see what you guys can see right now. But yeah, I'm super happy with it and I dark. literally love her so much. Dark. She is Mommy. so good at her... Is it dark? Yeah. She's so good at what she does. So I'll put the oh, Contour wait. Club link on the screen. If you're from the Hampshire area, definitely worth the visit. If you're looking for someone good, she is the only person I've ever gone to for filler. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I need to go put my braces back in before I forget. I need to make some dinner. I need to get everything sorted for Fia's birthday. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. No. Don't forget to use my far fetch discount as well because that will save you some money. I'll put it on the screen and I'll leave all the details in the description box too. And I'll hopefully see you guys soon. Bye bye, buddy. <laughs> You're so cute. Good morning, guys. I'm being a little bit quiet because we're on the trip and Sophia's just fallen asleep. It's quite busy as well. Um, we're heading to London to get my braces today, which I'm so excited about. But um, yeah, Sophia's asleep. Daddy's that watching the phone, watching some sort of what are you watching? <laughs> Who's that? Queen. <laughs> Lionel McQueen. Yeah, we're heading to London. It is just about 11. So we'll probably get in about half 12, which isn't too bad. But I'm really quite hungry. I'm really quite hungry. I'm hungry. hungry. You're hungry? Yeah. Say, so try and do some work whilst I'm being asleep. And I was kept busy. What are you eating? What have you got to eat? Chocolates. Wow. 
Are you a lucky boy? Uh oh. So we're just getting into more today. I don't know if I should wear these ones. Yeah. Oh, these. I think these look cooler, don't you? Yeah. I'm sure it will. People said it fits on a train, so hopefully it will fit through the little barrier, the orange barrier just there. Hopefully it's woken up now, taking turns, but I would imagine she'll fall back asleep on the walk. Because we're going to walk, aren't we? Yeah. About how long? 40 minutes. 45 minutes. Get coffee. Yeah, it won't be too bad, will it? No, but it was a really easy journey actually getting here. It only took us an hour and a half on the train. The boat was literally seven minutes. We left so our house. Easy. We left our house at five past ten. About ten. And it's really past twelve, so pretty good going to be it's honest. Probably the best ever. Yeah. Right. We've just got off the train and stuff. Honestly, feel like I'm pushing an absolute bus, but it's fine. Got the potty hooked on there. Now we're still asleep, and it's actually so warm. Like it's really nice. The breeze isn't cold, which is lovely. I have obviously got my leather jacket, but. Um, for now I'm just in my shirt and I'm warm enough which is great. I love this time of year when it starts to get warmer. Wow little man look! How cool's that? Do you like it? Yeah, it's big isn't it? You see it little man? Walking across the bridge. We just had to carry this up the stairs. There was no like a ramp anywhere. Just what we're having to do right now. Mm. Are you holding hands? Mm. Oh, are you having a good time? Can you see a police car? <laughs> Can you? So we're in a taxi now on the way to the dentist. I literally cannot believe how nice the weather is today. What dinosaur? Yeah, you show them your dinosaurs. Mm. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You did a little sleep in the pram, didn't you? Have yeah. you hooked back on, babe? Yeah, it's so warm. I've literally been walking around. I've literally just been walking around in this. We're heading to the dentist now. Are you having fun? Uh, yeah. Really busy. It is really busy, but also I think because obviously we live on by the beach, we live very coastal. It's hotter here because it's there's no coastal area, so it's not as windy. So yeah, we're just in the taxi now. I'm not gonna play nice. I'll be the witch you tell your friends about. I'm the crazy ex girl you pretend you don't know. Cause you know I could ruin your life. Rumor has it you have someone new. She'll regret you like a bad tattoo. Cause you'll never change, you'll always stay the same. I thought I'd come on here and end this video because I haven't really got an outro for it. I kind of just wanted to show you guys an update on um, my filler situation. So obviously when I was filming, I was a little bit swollen. Um, I haven't got any makeup on right now. So just very tired. I've just been editing up this video for me to post. Also, we're kind of brunette right now, which this is a toner, so it won't be this dark. But um, I'm not staying this colour either. Obviously, I get married in four weeks. And I'm intending on being, like, blonde. Just my usual, like, blonde kind of balayage, I suppose, colour for the wedding. So I had my hair done the other day. I'm just going to give you guys a backstory because otherwise you're going to have questions. Um, I had my hair done the other day. <sighs> Something just wasn't right. Like... It just was so warm, really blonde, which is not what I wanted at all because I just feel like, if anything, I'm more of a brunette than I am a blonde, like I love. I actually really like this colour, um, but as I said, it's just a toner. So obviously I had events this, the weekend just gone, um, so I needed something to help. So I had a toner put on it and it was all good, it was all fine, um, and then the toner started to fade because I've washed it a couple of times because I wanted it to fade down and then it started going a weird like green orange kind of colour 
so then we put we've put another toner on it and i actually really like the color but as i said it's not going to be this dark you can still see like where the blonde bits are underneath um but also i go on holiday in a few weeks well fingers crossed um as i've explained at the start of this video um we have actually moved it from when i spoke to you guys about it so we're actually going to greece now in a few weeks i'm very excited about it but also i don't want it to be too blonde for the holiday because obviously sun bleaches your hair and makes it very warm toned and yellow so i would even be happy going on holiday with my hair this color and then just doing what we that is not what i wanted to come on and say i just wanted to give you guys a final update on my filler i can't even see what you guys are looking at when i look to the side because obviously i can't see but i am so happy with it i literally am obsessed with like the tiniest little tweakments they just make such a difference my lips are so good they look so natural like obviously you guys would have seen my previous lips they were actually done by the same girl but obviously i've been oh sorry the kids are in the bath if you can hear corn's bathing them because i'd had filler for so long um it kind of had migrated but this is literally this technique she uses as well it's just perfect i i think the package on her website is called sugar plum lips but yeah they just look so good on my face like they just look so flat i don't know if that even makes sense but um yeah my nose is just the perfect amount she also kind of like does a little lift at the end of my nose which i really like my nose naturally sits like like that which isn't a bad thing but i just prefer it up and then we just got to top up in my chin and that's just to like balance the profile but yeah i wanted to finish this video and keep you guys up to date there is other videos that i'm ready to post but some of them are awaiting approval i have got lots of youtube content coming your way i've got a really exciting like wedding video coming um, I'm going to be trying on some bridal dresses with you guys, which I'm not sure how ready I am for that. I've got Sophia's birthday vlog, um, which we had the best weekend for. Obviously, we've got this one, and then I've got a day in the life I need to edit still. Um, another video, which kind of had an inclu inclusion of like a what I eat in a day. So yeah, I've got lots of videos coming your way, which I hope you guys are excited for. I've got hauls coming. Don't forget to use my discount code for Farfetch. I, I actually am going to be using my discount myself. Because <laughs> um, I have a bit of a problem for shopping. But um, I want to get some bits for my holiday. And if I can get them discounted, then I definitely will be. So yeah, I probably will be using my code myself. Also, I just quickly wanted to kind of give a rundown over my Invisalign journey. Because in the video, I just inserted the clips of what I had. Um, but I've had them in. This is my third set. So I've had them in for my third set. I had two weeks and then I changed the set and then I changed the set. So I've had them in for four weeks. This is my fourth week. And I am really getting on with them. At the start, I literally was like, these are so painful. I'm not even sure how I'm going to cope. Um, but they have moved my teeth already i have actually got the attachments on my teeth i don't know if you can see but especially this tooth it's so much flatter this one's still on its own little journey but it's fine as i said i'm only on week three no i'm only on set number three um and yeah i do find this set has been very tight which i like i like having a new tight set which sounds really crazy because it does hurt but um when it's tight i feel like it's working um obviously i have a lisp so i apologize for that but it's fine um my bottom teeth are actually pretty much straight anyway but it's kind of all to do with my bite and these ones have been hurting a lot more at the moment but yeah they do actually have a competition running the dentist that did my invisalign has a smile makeover um competition running so i'm going to leave his app on the screen i'm going to try and leave everything in the description box for you guys because there's a lot of information here a lot of people that i need to tag for all the best bits and bobs but yeah i'm really thankful for bond dental and dr doug because he is incredible and i'm very excited to come on the journey the practice itself is in actually i'm not even going to say it because i pronounced it so wrong as sid actually died is it mark marley bone marley bone <laughs> i don't know um and the dental like the practice itself is so lovely they're so friendly there obviously it's very kid friendly which is great for me when i have to go um as you would have seen in the clips 
But yeah, um, I'm gonna leave everything linked down below for you guys. And I'm very excited to continue my journey. He said within 14 weeks, my teeth should be 90% done. But um, I can catch you guys up in vlogs. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll leave the information down below. Noah has been incredibly loud. Fantastic when you have a headache, hey? But yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will hopefully see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye.